Today, I'm going to be showing you why some of my organization didn't work and what you should do instead. Sometimes you try a new organizing system and you just find that after time, it didn't really work for you, but that's okay. We can keep trying until we find something that works. Before I show you my new system that I wanted to try, I need to show you why my current system doesn't work. When I was decluttering and organizing my linen closet, I decided to move our medications from our master bathroom closet into the linen closet, which is in the hall. I had liked keeping the medicine in our closet and our bathroom because it was up high so that when our kids were little, they wouldn't be able to get into it. But now that our kids are grown, I actually want them to be able to get their own medicine without having to come in our bathroom. So we decided to move it into the hall closet. I really like to have things in baskets out of sight. Sometimes I use clear baskets and bins, but I actually prefer to use something that is solid and I can't see through because sometimes it still feels a little cluttered to me when it's in a clear bin and I can see through it. So I chose to use these white bins with lids from Target to try in our linen closet when I decluttered that. I was a little bit concerned about having lids on the containers because I wondered if it would cause problems getting in and out of, but I really did like the streamlined pretty look and that it was out of sight. Well, I was right and I hate the lids. So you might be like me and you don't want to have to take the time to pull out the bin, set it on the counter, take off the lid, get what you need, put the lid back on and put it back on the shelf. That was maybe three or four extra steps that I didn't need to do. And then when you need to go put the item back, you had to do the whole process again. It is such a hassle and I really don't like it. Marie Kondo has this to say, Clutter is caused by a failure to return things to where they belong. Therefore, storage should reduce the effort needed to put things away, not the effort needed to get them out. And I'm not sure who said this, and I'm pretty sure I'm butchering it, but I know it was one of the cluttering experts like um, Dawn or Cass or Dana. And I think they said something like, it should be as easy to put something away as it is to set it down. So dropping off the bottle of medicine on the shelf is so much easier than having to do all the things I just said, take off the lid and put it in. So make sure you stick around to the end to see if I am able to get this organized better. And I actually might try it with my first aid bin as well, because it's the same thing. It's a big bin and everything is just tossed into that bin. And I really don't love that either. Now, before I changed this organization into our linen closet, I actually liked how I had it organized before. I just had a couple of bins and I had things separated into the type of medication. It was easy just to get it out, grab what we want, put it back. You didn't have to take a lid off or, or set it down on the counter. It was super easy. So I'm gonna go and try that out again in my linen closet and hopefully it's gonna work this time. The space between the shelves is actually really high and I wanna use all of the space, all of the vertical space. So I needed to find a shelf that would go in between so I could stack a couple of baskets and it was really actually hard to find something that would fit the length of my shelf. I am really hoping that the things I got worked. I did measure before I left and made sure that those shelves would fit. And so I did grab a couple of different things to try out. And ah, I'm just really hopeful that I can find something that works a lot better than what I have. But if you have a better solution for me, I would love it if you would leave a comment down below and let me know because maybe there's just something that is just going right over my head and I can't think of what it would be. I did think about building a new shelf in between but that's just not something that I really have time for or the skill to really do right now. Okay, here's how it looks now. <laughs> See how it's easier just to drop things here rather than opening, getting out what you need or taking it out, putting it on the bathroom counter, taking it back, putting it back. A huge pain, right? So we're gonna test a couple of things out here today, but I do love these baskets. And I'm going to be using these, or at least trying these out and seeing if they will work. These are the little weave baskets from Target and I have all different kinds, like these up here, down here. I have them in my kitchen. I have them all over the place. I'll try and leave a link down in the description below if you haven't seen these before or tried them before, but they are sturdy, they're just awesome. So 
I love them. But you don't have to use anything like this. You can just use whatever you have lying around. They don't even have to match. A lot of my spaces are actually organized like that. I have recently just started to try and make them look more streamlined and pretty because I am kind of a perfectionist and I really like that. It makes me happy. If you are enjoying this video and finding it helpful or motivating, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks. Okay, I'm really excited because I was looking online this morning on Amazon, trying to see if there was something else that I could use to try to organize this. And I bought these, several of these, to see if they would work. I know I don't really want to have to return them, so I'm really, really hoping that they work. So I'm going to open these and give it a try. Isn't it amazing how you can order something in the morning and it's here in the afternoon? <laughs> so let's see. Let's hope these work good. All right, they're looking promising. Oh, this is super easy. Some of these just go right here. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put these little grippy things on the bottom. Hopefully that will keep it from moving around. Exactly where these go. Oh, probably in these little holes here. And, oh yeah, that's gonna hold it in place. Perfect. And then there's these little dividers. You just hook it into these little slots like that. Oop. This is looking really promising. I'm really excited to give this a try. So let's go take it into the closet and try it out. All right, I was so excited, but I don't think it's gonna work. It would work if it was just like this but then I'm wasting space on both of these sides because if I scoot this down, I can't pull these out. That defeats the purpose of making this super easy. I'm gonna have to try out a different way. All right, we're gonna try a couple of different ideas here. So I have this shelf that I already had. So I can fit three. And then these would be probably easier to get in and out of. Uh, well, so I could just do that. Same with that. So that's more doable, but then I still have this wasted space over here. And I can't put anything here because of this shelf ending right there. So. That still might be the best solution here. So let me think a little bit. Maybe we'll try one more thing. All right, I bought these shelves from Target. Um, and I did test these out with these little weave baskets there. And so I knew that they would fit underneath. And I knew that I could fit two side by side. I mean, it's kind of a tight squeeze, but here again, I'd have to take this one out to get this, which isn't that big of a deal. I could do that with two more on top. And I bought another one. So actually, I thought that maybe I could stack this. Oops. Three. But that's too, too tight. That doesn't fit much but i could fit a couple of things there so i could put like some first aid things here could lay some on their side i just don't know if i love that or take this off these won't fit side by side but i can fit one in like this that's gonna be space for one more but that's tight because this has this little bump here So, I don't know, it catches. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. But then I could fit, I could even fit four up here. So we've got four, five, six, but the other way I was able to fit six as well. But this way I have this whole empty bottom space. I also have one of these. And that definitely won't fit. <sighs> hmm. I think I like this wire shelving a little better. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna try that out. I just have to keep testing it until I can figure out what works for me. So let's keep trying. All right, what I think I'm gonna try here is to see if I can fit all of our medications into four of these bins because I'm pretty sure that I'd be able to fit all of our first aid items into two. So let's give that a shot here. So I was actually able to fit all of the medications into three of these bins. So I know for sure I'll be able to fit all of the first aid stuff into the other three, probably only two. And look, I got rid of a good pile. Let's see if you can see this, a good pile of garbage that I decluttered. So let's try this. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna do, I might do this basket instead. I'll pick one of these down here too. Okay, I'm gonna put in these. This is gonna be really easy to fit everything actually. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put like vitamins in there. That works. All right. So look, that is awesome. I can fit all of this. So let's put it on the shelf. Okay, I think I can put all the medication up here on the top shelf. So I have cold and allergy and pain relievers, and this is all children medication, children's medications. And then I have like stomach and ears and eyes and just some random stuff. Oh wait, now this is, might not fit down here. Nope. All right, let's rethink this. This, nope. So I'm probably gonna have to go like this. Kind of divide it up, but that's okay. Oh wait, nope, I have this down here. I don't love how it's kind of separated with the first aid here and then the medicines here but it's just gonna have to work. Those wouldn't fit down here with the big bottles and same with this one down here. So I think I like that. And actually, I think I might use those new shelves that I just bought for under the sink here in the bathroom because that needs a little work as well. I am really excited about this. Now remember that you want to declutter before you organize your spaces. It's really hard to organize and to keep things organized when you have too much clutter. So make sure to click here next to learn why decluttering has been life-changing for me and why it might be for you as well. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I really appreciate you and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.